Dennis. You're about ready to view Mike Lawson's tying Spring Creek and Tailwater Flies. But before you get started with this, I gotta show you something that's new and something you're gonna wanna have. And this is Mike Lawson's new Spring Creek book. Just hot off the press. In fact, it's still burning my fingers. It is a masterpiece on learning how to fish Spring Creeks. I'll tell you, I don't care if you fished them all your life, you're gonna learn something from this book. I know I did. This book is printed by Stackpole Books. It's getting fabulous reviews. And if you want to get a copy and you haven't found one in your local fly shop and you want to get one autographed by Mike, you can get him through this email address right on the screen. kind of water, Spring Creek water. I've had a chance to fish this kind of water most of my life and I really love it. There's a certain characteristic about Spring Creeks that you find in no other kinds of streams. The water's clear, you can often see the fish, you can certainly see them feeding, and they rely mostly on insects for the food that they eat, which is ideal for fly fishing, especially dry flies. And over the years that I've had a fly fishing shop on one of the most famous spring creeks in the world, the Henry's Fork of the Snake, I've learned a lot from my own fishing, but I think I've learned even more from so many of the people that I've met there in the shop. That's been a great thing for me because I think it isn't so much that I've learned the answers to all the questions, but it's the questions themselves that have really helped me a lot, and especially with flies that I've developed. There's a lot of real important challenges in developing flies that work on this kind of water. This type of water is really intimidating sometimes for people that have never really tried it, and so are the fly patterns. The fish get a real 
close look at the fly. Another characteristic of spring creeks is that there aren't a lot of different species of insects. The fish don't see a lot of different kinds of, of food, and, but what they see is very prolific. A lot of spring creeks only get two or three species of mayflies during the course of the season, but the surface might be just literally carpeted with those same mayflies, and the fish may see those for several weeks at a time during the season. So that also makes them very selective. So those two characteristics, the fact that the water's clear and the surface is smooth so the fish get a very close look at the fly, and the fact that the fish get to see an awful lot of the same insect during the course of the season, gives us some special challenges in tying flies. And I get asked a lot of questions about the flies that I've tied. I've tied flies since I was a boy, and those patterns have developed into some very specific flies that have proven very effective on this kind of water for me. And I frequently get asked how I tie these flies. And that's what I'd like to do, is share a lot of this knowledge that I've learned over the years from not just my own fishing and my own experiences, but that I've learned from others. And it's a lot of fun to be able to create patterns and tie them that work on this kind of water because I think that spring creeks offer the ultimate challenge for the dry fly angler. And these patterns are going to really help increase our odds. I think mayflies are the best known of all the aquatic insects on trout streams, especially spring creeks. And when there's a hatch of mayflies coming off a stream like this, I'm really in seventh heaven when the fish are up and feeding on them. And the flies we tie to imitate mayflies have some specific considerations. When we look at the surface of this smooth, flowing, clear stream, it's important to realize that the trout may be feeding just under the surface, or sometimes they might be feeding on insects that are actually riding on the surface. But I found from my own experience that most of the flies that work best are those that are fished just under the surface or, or right in the surface film. And I have some patterns that imitate some of the mayflies that I've found really effective that I'd like to share with you.